Now, streaming options. So maybe you want to start streaming your services. Maybe you want to stream your conference. I don't know. If so, two of the easiest places to stream would be Facebook and YouTube. Now, what's really cool is you can actually stream directly from Zoom. So you can have a Zoom meeting going on and stream it through to some of the major social networks. Now, you can stream to other places, like you can stream to Instagram, you can stream to LinkedIn. It's just that based on who you are and who your audience is, Facebook and or YouTube are the places that make the most sense, okay? But again, if we're gonna stream to Facebook, you have to tell your congregants or your conference members, look, this is exactly where this is going to be. This is how you get there. Go to our Facebook page, which is at this link. Don't just tell them go to Facebook page. Give them the link to it in your directions, verbally or written, however that needs to work. And then say, once you go there at this time of day, then you will see this automatically playing. But don't worry if you don't see us there on time. Give us about five extra minutes refresh. Sometimes there's technology hiccups, but we will be there no matter what. If you tell people that, you're giving yourself a little bit of padding in case there's some type of technical difficulty. They're not panicking. They know they're in the right place. But this is very important. If you're going to stream, make sure that you're being inclusive. So when streaming, have a conference call option. So if you're using Zoom, you can just give them the call-in information for that. Say, hey, we're streaming on Facebook. But if you want to listen in by phone because you don't have access to the internet or you'll be outside in the garden, I don't know, call this number here enter in this password or this enter in these numbers to access and you'll be able to listen to the entire meeting you'll be able to listen to the entire message so that way they know you're thinking about them too it's not about the technology it's about the delivery and so you're just communicating to them hey we're trying to reach you in whatever way works for you if you want visual we have visual if you want to see each other we can do that if you need a phone we would love for you to join us by phone just making everyone feel included and welcome. Number two, when we talk about being inclusive, have dedicated technology helpers. So when you start streaming these services on Facebook or when you're having these meetings, have one or two people who volunteer to be on call during certain hours, certain days, however you wanna do it, and they need to have the known phone numbers that people know, hey, if I'm having issues with Zoom, this person can help me. If I'm not seeing the streaming service, rather than panicking, I'm gonna call them and they're gonna get me set up. And if I can make a suggestion to you, we do not all have the same talents, skills, and ministries in life, right? And so we can all think back to a professor that we had or a teacher that we had in high school that taught something like physics or calculus, and they were brilliant. We knew they were brilliant, but some of them were, were horrible communicators, right? And so what you do not want is you need these helpers to be people that understand technology but will not talk in jargon and have a great deal of patience. It might be younger people, but it might be people that are baby boomers that are just technology savvy, but know how to communicate with people in a way that makes them feel comfortable, that makes them feel smart, that lets them know this, this really isn't a high pressure thing. Let me show you how to do this. It's easy, you can do it. So having people that volunteer for that role is going to be so key in relieving the stress of many of the people that are within your conference or that are going to your church, okay? So let's be inclusive. 